everyone, welcome to Putra Stadium in the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. It's semi-finals day at the Lee Ning BWF Sudaman Cup, the World Mixed Team Championships. It's the first of the semi-finals. It's Korea against uh, Thailand. And of course, this is a repeat of the group match last Tuesday. And I can tell you, last Tuesday, Korea inflicted a complete whitewash Five love against Thailand, but Thailand have made three changes since that group encounter. Men's and women's singles have changed and women's doubles as well. Well, that is the lineup. And of course, at semi-final stage, as indeed in all the knockout competitions, it is the first to get three matches. If the three matches have been won before we get to the fourth or fifth match in that lineup, then the dead matches will not be contested. Well, I can tell you that Korea are playing in their 13th consecutive Sudaman Cup semi-final because two days ago they beat Germany 3-love in their quarter-final. Thailand disposed of Japan 3-1. So Thailand appearing in their first ever semi-final at the Sudaman Cup and only the seventh nation in the history of this competition to reach the semi-final stage. So to the first of our matches and it is a mixed doubles. Go Sung Hyung and Kim Ha Nong from Korea up against Sukip Prakamol and Sarali Thong Tongkan from Thailand. There is the magnificent Sudaman Cup trophy named of course after Dick Sudaman president of the PBSI, the Indonesian Badminton Association, and also a vice president of the International Federation. So here come the players. I'm Jill Clark, and I'm delighted to say that sitting alongside me is former world number one, Morten Frost from Denmark. Now, of course, I've mentioned the fact that these two teams played against each other in the group. It was a whitewash in favor of Korea. These two pairs played each other. It was a win for Korea. the uh, Koreans, ob obviously, with their five love. It was two straight games, 21-9, 21-10. But before we get into this mixed doubles, Thailand Four. have changed their two singles Six. and a surprise in the women's doubles. Okay. Yes, they have. And uh, I think that will make a major change Sorry. to to the setup of this game, so okay. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I have a strong feeling that uh, Thailand can take the two okay. um, singles and add considerable pressure on that ladies' Service. doubles Who's as well. Serve? Yeah, Sir Lee's gonna well, serve. just to clarify what's happened in these two singles, Boon Sok Hong Sana has been You're selected good. today. And of course, Tanong Sak Samsung Boon Sok plays on Tuesday. Rachana Intanon, fresh from winning her first Super Series title in India just a couple of weeks ago, replaces Jindapon. So I think those two changes, of course, Bunsak Ponsana is currently number eight in the world. Rachana Intanon is number five, playing against the number six in the world. So that women's yeah. single should be a cracker. But let's have a look, first of all, at the mixed doubles and uh, Go Sung Hyung and Kim Ha Na. Well, if you were with us when Korea played against Hong Kong on Monday, I was telling you that Go Sung Hyung was 25. He's no longer 25, he's 26 now, because he turned 26 on Tuesday. His partner, 23 years of age, and what a start they've had to their reforming of their mixed doubles partnership. Two tournaments played this year, reached two finals, won the Asian Championships and were beaten finalists in India. So to the number six in the world, Sukip Prakamol, 33 years of age. So to his partner, Tho Sara Lee Song Tonkam, will turn 34 next month. Sukip from John Bori in Thailand, serves in the army, his partner serves in the Air Force. I gather she's got a higher ranking than him, and <laughs> he jokes about it that he's always been told what to do by her. So, and it really looks like that on court <laughs> now and again. <laughs> they are a very established pair, aren't mm. they? And of course, uh, they 
have played all three previous matches for Thailand in the mixed doubles. Uh, obviously, they lost to their opponents of today, but beats the Hong Kong pair, and of course beat the Japanese pair of Hashimoto and Maeda in the quarter-final a couple of days ago. We've talked all week, haven't we, Morton, about how important it is to get off to a winning start. Yes, yeah. I, I agree with you. And uh, and the thing is, in, in this match, it, it might look a little bit straightforward for the Koreans to win it. They won uh, last week and everything looks really uh, rosy for them. But honestly, I know the two Thai players and they can really pick up the game. And I have a sneaky feeling that Thailand was already doing very well in the group when they played last time and therefore did not need um, to win to qualify. I absolutely concur with that. Of course, they started the tournament as the number four seeds, the number four ranked pair. They finished second in their group, obviously, behind Korea, their opponents of today. And I think their selection last Tuesday probably said, well, we don't want to waste our uh, energy on it. Energy, we don't want to give away our aces mm. up our sleeves. Yes. And I think this match can be really tight. If the Thai pair is, is playing up to standard and up to what I know they can, it can be really tight. So Kelvin Martin of Barbados making the announcements to the crowd is the umpire for this one. Henrik McBoas from Denmark is the service judge. Yeah, just a oof. Well, that works. That won't be surprising. This is a huge occasion for both teams. Obviously with Thailand their first ever semi final. Of course Korea trying to make it through to their seventh Sudaman Cup final. They've three times taken the title, three times been beaten in finalists. But just to emphasize your point more, of course, Sukit and Sarali twice world championship medalists, two bronze medals from world championships, winners of the Indonesian Super Series event last year. And they have been as high as number two in the world ranking. They are a fine, fine pair. Of course, beaten the finalists at New England as well two years ago. Yeah, but I, uh, wh what I like about the Thai pair is that they can really raise their game to the occasion. And if asking <coughs> for, uh, for an occasion, this is it. You know, they, Thailand has never been in the semi final before and they have a fair chance of getting to the final. So they really, I think, they're fired up. Yeah. to say I do love watching <laughs> Sukit Pro. He's such a character on court. He yes. wanders <laughs> round as if he has a care in the world in between rallies. Yeah. And then suddenly he's like a little jack in the box, absolutely flying round the court. He is. He's very quick on his legs. And, and I think that we have seen some weakness uh, signs from the Koreans and also the fact when they lost to Hong Kong, they did not really play very well. No, in fact, that's the only match that they've lost in the tournament so far, mm. was that very first match in their very first group tie, as you say. Oh. There's this mixed doubles pair mm. against Hong Kong, and they lost to Lee and 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 two straight games. Oh. And they really showed some vulnerability, I think, in, in that match. I know it was the first, oh. but still, they are working their way Never into the that. tournament. But shaken, I think. Three, four. Point. Service fault called. Oh, service, service fault over. called. Mm. Racket not pointing in a different direction. Three. Yeah, it's all, you know, adding on to the uh, the pressure, and, and maybe, as I say, it can really shake Cole a bit in in this match. He's not looked too steady, yeah. and the ties have made two service mistakes. So. Out of the three points, Korea's got his two service mistakes. Oh, that's a good return. Yeah. Uh, what about the fact that for Bo Sung Hyung, this is his sixth match 
in his Sudderman Cup campaign. He's played already three mixed doubles. He's played two men's doubles mm. as well. He's, he's a very physical specimen, isn't he? I mean, he he's is. a great looking athlete. But do you think that will take its toll? No, not at all. They've had plenty of rest in between uh, every other day they play and all that. So, no, I do not think that will come into account at all. Of course, both the Korean players on courts are going to play level doubles as well. How did she miss that? Yeah, she played it very well onto the very last Six, shot. Five. Sarah Lee was under <laughs> severe pressure there. She could just have dropped it. She was way out of balance, Sarah Lee. In fact, Sukit is the only player on court who's not down to play twice in this semi final team. Service over. Six, four. So both pairs off to a, a shaky start, I think, but uh, soon they will settle down and we will have a magnif magnificent match here. Service over. Seven, six. They are very they are. understandable. Yeah. They're not just playing just they're not playing an individual tournament, but they're playing for the team, they're playing for the nation, and it really adds on the pressure. Eight, seven. She's going to be a key in this. It all. She will be. She is a very steady player, got very nice technique, can play lots of shots, and uh, if it works for her, she's she's dangerous to play. Oh, that was going out. Seven over. Nine. Eight. Good pressure, really moving cool from side to side, Ten, making sure he nine. cannot uh, apply his really power smash and uh, have to play half smashes, drop shots and so on. Good pressure from the tie. It was won two or three Nine. times Nine. earlier on in the rally. He didn't finish it. Uh, I think they are a little bit scared holding back because of the, the weak start. And, you know, just want to make sure that uh, everything is coming over from now on. So, Thailand with the advantage in this. They can really fire themselves up and can raise themselves to a different level. And this is a different occasion as well. Eleven, nine, play. So eleven, nine. Oh. What 
returning side for a return. Took the tape slightly, but again, play right behind the front player. It's uh, very well placed. to feed off the pace of opponent shuffle. And therefore the fact that the Thailand pair are playing so many soft shots, he's getting a little bit frustrated is Go Sun Hyung. Seven over. Eleven, twelve. No doubt that the the Thai pair is um, wanting to have longer rallies and make use of the baseline a lot more because they're standing on the slow side. And when we saw before this match started, oh. they were testing the shuffles. I, I think there's perhaps 14, as much 12. as half a meter of difference between the two. Areas. So it's very it's, it's a lot, and obviously the Thai have got the security of being able to lift and play clears and all that and make use of the baseline so much more than the, the Korean pair. And an effective way of playing as well could be to, to play more clears and play more fast lifts on Kim Hana, the, the lady from Korea, because she doesn't seem to be very strong on the baseline. So if they can Seven isolate over. her at the back, that could be quite good for the Italian player as well. Pushing her off the net. 16, I think we just here in the beginning we talked about a lot about what the Thailand player can do, but it's in, in my book because the Thailand player ha has got more options in their game. They can what we saw here where they suddenly have Sukhid at the front. They have many many more options. They can play fast. They can play slow. They can play soft. They can play hard. The the Korean pair on the other hand is a much more straightforward pair. The favourite combination is like this, the man at the back, the lady at the front, attacking the whole time, being put in the flat exchanges. It's a very straightforward pair. 14, 16. Judgment. 15, Obviously, he was under pressure, but he was going to leave it all the way. He was sure. Crucial couple of rallies coming up right now. Left <laughs> uh, nearly deep enough. 16, 
Wilson here has got such a good smash on him. Despised the weight with ease. All level 16 all. Oh, it's just long. That's my left again. That's good judgment. 16. He's finding his bearings now. Last eight points. Oh. That's where the touch on occasions. Uh, let go down, I think. Oh. Yeah, when we, as you said, when he's having these soft shots to play, the, the touch is really letting him down now and again. Got herself forward to the net. Attempted the interception and once she'd missed, we were in trouble. And she knew it. Second time. Then he's going to play a key role here. <laughs> so his judge from Denmark has been pretty harsh on uh, Co so far. Two Two fourths on his low surf. Oh, the low Seven serve four. is short, my goodness. Yeah, that has happened on a few occasions as well. Took courage to leave that. I'm not sure I would have done. <laughs> Points away from this open game. Go with instinct. Let out. Great right. smash. But again, a, a too short lift. Sarah Lee. That one is too short. Yeah. It's not going, not even between the tram lines. Well, the power play from the powerful man, Go Sung Hyo, has earned Korea two game points in this opening game. Yeah. One will do, and having trailed for so long in the opening game, come good at exactly the right time. It's a pity that such a good opening game had to end on an error. Return of serve from Suke Prakmol into the net. And the opening game to Korea. 21-18 in 16 minutes of play. They both look so nervous, but I have to say, Morton, I've hardly mentioned Kim Harna in this match no. so far. She really hasn't been making her presence felt. Now she's a very steady player, but uh, been watching her over this uh, this week in this tournament. I, I still think she she needs to to pick up her game in the sense that she's got to find ways of differentiate her in uh, she's got to find ways of scoring points find ways of where she is good at the moment it's very very bland Twenty obviously high high level Twenty but you know that's why you're asking for more yeah. oh. so 
this second game. It will be interesting to see how Thailand react to the disappointment. Second game. Love all. Play. Well, that's good for me um, my answer. <laughs> yeah, let's see. But uh, it looks One good. Love. But I think we will see a lot more attacking uh, Thailand pair from this side than uh, from the other side. And let's see if that's going to make a difference. The drift was One considerable to me. Yes. That's just proved it. Way out. Oh. Mm. Oh, so sure. But as you see, it's also stopping the low serve One. from coming in. So, so <laughs> it's um, really, you have to um, adapt to this kind of conditions. Disappointed with that, Savali. Swing of the racket. She kept Good shouting by Sarah Lee here. Four, two. Asking her partner to leave it. He was Four. completely caught on that forehand side. Oh, no wonder he's smiling. a little bit bland mm. and I'm thinking especially about Kim Ha Na is it that it's her choice of shot that's she's not doing anything that's just a little different she's not adventurous at all ah! so her skills are fine it's just her, her choice of shot that's lacking variation or inspiration I, I think Five. she can possibly do it technically oh. but she's just not doing it because she just tends to keep it so safe and as I say, she's not oh. adventurous at all in her, her shot selection. Um, but that's Five. something she has to go home and work on. And, and if and when we get to the, the ladies' doubles, it's actually the same scenario with her partner. And they're a fine, fine pair in the world. But I'm still looking to see more skills from their side. Oh. Oh, that's missed. That's gone wrong. Thailand, we have to be awfully cautious here. 
just sense that the Korean pair are beginning to stamp their authority on this. Yeah, runaway train. <laughs> yeah. Seven of the last eight points have gone in favour of the Korean pair. Okay. Again, if the Thailand pair should make some changes to, to their tactics at the moment, I think Sara Lee have to challenge Hannah at the nets some more. You know, really try to bring her <laughs> into the game and uh, see if she can uh, exploit a little bit of uh, some weaknesses there. Because in my point of view, Sara Lee is a, is a stronger front player than Hana is. Right. Still with his head down, isn't looking at his opponent. Obviously not ready. The mind game is going on here. Travis Robert. Seven. Ten. That's what I explained uh, earlier in the first set, that if they can isolate Hana at the back as well, that's what we see here. She can't really defend well enough for herself, and that would add on a lot of pressure on the Korean pair as well. Thailand has, already, has kept a very good consistency in, in the Play. coaching staff over many, many years. And I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, they're building up an enormous amount of knowledge and they're using it. And uh, it's not like coaches suddenly leaving and then they're losing all this knowledge at the same time. So they've kept a very steady setup for, I would say, almost 15, Nine 20 years. Of course, it was a great loss to the world of badminton, and especially to Thailand, the coaching team of the death of Pramoti Tarawirantana last year. Thoughts were very much with his family. Ten, left. Shuffle behind him. Eleven all. Oh. Oh, back level. All three points since the oh, going into it. And going to Thailand. I should know what the coach has said. Going well yeah. 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 Just hitting it too hard. Just from the action you can see, oh this well, must be going left. out. Oh, no, 
nice meet. That was really good. Absolutely magnificent. Round <laughs> off. Service fault called service above the waist this time, says the service judge. But it was too long one. anyway, mm. so it was a doppel fault. Mm. Didn't see that as being any higher than normal. Yeah, I like the word you used, normal. 14, mm. 12. Serve and then a Herrera by Thailand, two gifted points. He's going wide. Yeah. Yeah. Service over. Thirteen, forty. Gone. Oh my oh. goodness! I was just Better about to say it. Gone yeah. long. Yes, I thought it was 15, long too. 30. Well, oh, oh no. caught the line. That's Good in. call, line yeah. judge. In. Wonderful well done. Call. Yeah. Oh, obviously, the court needs to be mopped. Oh, so right. I an attempt to retrieve the shuttle. Service fault. Oh, service fault called service again a third time. 14, oh, 15. can do. He's a really small. That's coming on. 15, off. Oh. Just one. Yeah, no, it's all level now. I'm getting all too excited about it. Good love, Seth. Oh, my ah. goodness. Well, that's what you Never want to see her. more of, that creativity. Yes, yes, it is. Absolutely great 60, shot. But 50. my, 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 I, th I think Sutkis is he's standing dreaming there, you know. He should be covering that so easily. But well played by her. Yeah, and again. Seventeen fifty. Did Sudka Krakamold play that backhand so fast and so low cross court? He Look at that! It. Extraordinary. Yeah, good shot. Teammates. 
is Tinner, which in Tinner means turtle. He's certainly coming out of his shell today, hasn't he? <laughs> 16 17. Not yeah. the best of serves. No. Nope. Punished straight away. 18, 16. Okay. Okay. Uh, going to be told to move his towel and place it neatly in the kit box. Point advantage for Korea at this crucial stage. No. Thinks about his serve. <laughs> Sukit makes him think about his serve. Oh, there's a lot of mental pressure here. Good serve. Very tempted to take a match up to me. Go Sun Kyung in this block. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. Yes. Very nice touch. And I must say, very brave of Sarah Lee to oh. flick that serve. Not only the chance of getting forward, but also the fact that she's playing with the drift. That was a risky shot. 18 oh. Oh. Service over. It's short. 19, 18. Serve. Good cover by Sarah Lee here. It's going wrong. And after 35 minutes, the Koreans have two match point opportunities. Was bravely saved by Sarah Lee. 1920. Number two for Korea. Everybody takes their time. Mm -hmm. But this pressure for Sukit, he's not been serving very well this match, and obviously <laughs> everything is depending on this one. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch yeah. out. Well, that's nice. The two Thailand players smile at each other. Korea, of course, get the first point on the board of this semi-final encounter. 21-18, 21-19, the margin of their victory on match number one, the mixed doubles. My goodness, they had to work so much harder in this match than they did on Tuesday. And the two teams met each other, and these two pairs met each other. There's confirmation of the score, 21-18, 21-19.